हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स वॉच आउट वी हैव अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल अवर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टडिंग इन यू नो एट स्कूल लेवल बेसिकली डेवलपिंग देयर रीजनिंग स्किल्स एंड ऑल दोज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दोज प्लेसमेंट एग्जाम्स एंड द एग्जाम्स इन विच रीजनिंग इज ए पोर्शन दिस इज द टॉपिक यू ऑल नीड टू बी अवेयर ऑफ एंड आई कैन tell you that at least 85 out of 100 students face problem in this topic and this topic is that of the painted cubes if you remember painted cubes problems are like you have a big cube which is being painted from all over and then that cube is cut into smaller cubes like this right so when we dismantle this big cube the smaller cubes are formed and those smaller cubes will be painted either from one face or on two faces or three faces or even no faces and we need to find how many of them are painted on one face two face three faces and so on is there a rule is there a trick which you can apply it's difficult but we have solved it for you here are the tips and the short tricks to solve all problems based on painted cubes so watch the entire video you are going to learn something really useful and exclusive on this channel let me tell you after watching the video you will find out if you have a big cube containing 1000 small cubes you will tell me within no time within 3 seconds if you paint it all over and cut it into 1000 small cubes how many of those 1000 will have two faces painted within 3 seconds so watch the entire video okay and before i tell you the trick you need to subscribe the channel come on give it a subscribe and click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting notifications of all the future uploads which we will be doing on this channel and we have been doing on the channel the short tricks are wonderful right <laughs> let's get on with the concept friends the first thing you need to understand is that whenever you have a painted cube like this see it's a 2 by 2 by 2 cube you understand what is 2 by 2 by 2 you have two cubes along the length two along the width and two along the height so 2 by 2 by 2 cube and if you multiply them 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 you get the total number of cubes which will be formed if you cut it horizontally vertically okay so eight cubes are formed now if you paint this all over and then cut it into eight cubes there will be some faces which will not be painted because they are joined right here joined and when you separate them the inside thing is not painted right so what is the rule the rule is written here underneath this table so the side of the cube you can see this side this side has 1 2 2 cubes and therefore i am taking the value of n as 2 so the side of the cube has this side is 2 and therefore i am taking n equal to 2 so how many cubes will be formed when you cut it n cubes that is 2 cube which is 8 so 8 cubes will be formed and when you cut it after painting how many of them will have three faces painted fix answer there is no different answer you know you may have as many small cubes in the figure but you will get only eight different cubes with three faces painted so the answer for this is eight and we had total number of cubes also eight only right so nothing else is left and why these are all zero because n is 2 right and if n is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so this is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 0 and 2 minus 2 is 0 means 0 so how many are the to total faces which are painted these are not exactly faces i will call them as total cubes which are somehow painted either on one side to uh, two side or three side or zero side so the total cubes which are painted are all eight of them will be painted there will not be even a single cube with no painted side okay now this is like 2 by 2 by 2 cube okay now when we extrapolate this to 
a three by three by three cube. Look at this. So n in this case is three, right? Because we have one, two, three along the length. Now, if I want to find how many cubes will be formed when I cut it, it is just n cube, and n cube means three cube, which is twenty seven cubes will be formed. And I need to find out of these twenty seven cubes. How many cubes will be painted? How many cubes will be painted? That means either on one side or two faces or three faces. Okay, so let's check. I told you three faces painted. Three faces painted are always at the corners. Look at this. One, two, three. Three faces painted. So all those which lie along the Vertex, vertices. That means the corner, the vertices. They are painted from three faces, like this. See, I think you can understand here. If you see this cube, it is painted from the bottom also. One, two, and three. If you see this one, it is painted from the left also. One, two, and three. So all the cubes which are on the vertices, they are painted from three sides. Okay. And how many vertices are there? Corners. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Just like your room, you have four corners on the floor and four corners on the roof. So there are eight corners, and therefore eight of them will be painted from three faces. Likewise, how many of them will be having two faces painted? Now this is important. Watch this. Can you see one two face painted? And if you see here one two. Now, what is the common property? All these colored ones, they lie in the center, in the center of the edge. That means the side and the center. So you have to leave the corners and see how many lie in the center. That's all. So n minus two. What is n here? N is three. So three minus two is one. And when you multiply that by twelve. Why am I multiplying it by twelve? Because there are twelve edges in a cube. Just see the room in which you are sitting. There are two lengths, two widths on the floor, four heights, and two lengths and two widths on the roof. In all, you have twelve edges, and that is why I did twelve times n minus two. Why am I doing two minus two? Because I have to eliminate these two. So three. Minus two, that is one, and multiplied by twelve edges, that gives me twelve times three minus two, which is actually twelve itself. And so, when I cut a three by three by three cube after painting it into twenty-seven small cubes, twelve of them will have two faces painted. Okay, so these are edge centers, edge centers. Okay, now one face painted. For that, we need to look at this. the face here this face has nine cubes and out of that the one lying in the center will have only one face painted right the other faces are inside this so they are never going to be painted so what are these one face painted cubes they lie on the center of the face that is called face center right so how many faces are there Four walls and the roof and the floor, six faces, and therefore six times n minus two whole square is the formula for finding how many will have one face painted. So just put n equal to three. Three minus two one one square is one one into six six. You have six cubes with one face painted. Now look at no face painted. N minus two whole cube. N is three, right? So three minus two whole cube one cube. That is one. How did I get one? It is the body center. Body center. What do you mean by body center? Body center means the one lying inside this, the one which is not visible from the top, from the bottom, and from all four sides. It is not visible. It is inside it, and there is only one cube which is inside it, and that one will not have any face painted. Little difficult to understand the concept, but yes. the formula works for you if three cubes are there along the edge then the total number of cubes are n cube so 3 cube 27 three faces painted already fix 
8 2 faces 12 times n minus 2 so n is 3 so put, put it here you get 12 6 times n minus 2 whole square and then n minus 2 whole cube and total cubes painted you just have to calculate 3 faces are 8 then 12 faces are uh, 2 faces are 12 so 20 26 and 1 uh, this is not painted right so 26 will be painted and one of them will be not painted let's generalize this and understand it in a better way now here we have a 4 by 4 by 4 cube and 4 by 4 by 4 cube means n is 4 now first i will find the answer directly then we will interpret it from the figure so 4 cube i will have 64 small cubes which are formed out of these 8 will have 3 faces painted 2 faces painted just put n equal to 4 so 4 minus 2 2 twice of 12 is 24 so 24 small cubes will have 2 faces painted 4 minus 2 2 2 square is 4 6 4s are 24 so 24 will have 1 face painted and no face painted 4 minus 2 2 2 cube is 8 so 8 of them will have no face painted and so, if 8 of them have no face painted, out of a total of 64, then how many are painted? 64 minus 8, that is 56 of the cubes are painted, either from one face, two face or three faces. Right? Now, how do you interpret this? See, 8 means 8 corners. Okay? So, 8 corners. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and the 8th one is not visible. It is opposite to this one. It is a 3 dimensional figure, right? 24, 2 faces painted. So, if you see along this edge, you have 2 in the center. I am leaving the corners. 2 in the center and how many edges we have? 12. So, 12 times 2, that makes it 24. And likewise, 1 face painted, 1 face painted will be face center. So, you see, these four lie in the center of this face and therefore four on one set, one face that means six faces are there six into four 24 will have one face painted and no face painted and minus two cube this is very simple four minus two 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 cube is eight so eight of them are in the center underneath these four right we have two layers which will not be visible from any side or top or bottom and those eight are having no face painted feeling better now let's generalize this for five by five by five okay so how many we have along this row we have five so n is five and if you do five cube you will do uh, 125 small cubes if you cut it three faces painted are always eight see Always 8, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 in the bottom row. 1, 2, 3 are visible, 1 is not visible. So 8, that is fixed. Now 2 faces painted. Now if you start counting, you are bound to make a mistake. But if you know 12 times n minus 2, n is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3 and 12 times 3 is 36. So you have 36 small cubes with 2 faces painted. And likewise, if you want to find how many of them will have one face painted, just do 6 times n minus 2 whole square. n is 5. 5 minus 2, 3. 3 square is 9. 9, 6 are 54. So 54 of them will have one face painted. I will justify how. n minus 2 whole cube. 5 minus 2, 3. 3 cube is 27. So 27 will have no face painted. Okay. Now, out of how many? 125. 27 are not painted out of 125. So, subtract. You get 98 cubes which will have either 1, 2 or 3 faces painted. Now, if you want to justify this, let's see one face painted here. Okay. Uh, these are cubes. So, I have been making that correction in the entire video. Cubes. Okay. So, if you see one face painted, one face painted are face center see face center these are all face center how many are these nine of them then nine on one face so six faces nine six are 54 that's where uh, we are deriving the formula so if you understand the formula 
you know the trick and you can solve it without having to do anything right so i have made a table for you see here we are if the side of the cube is 2 you have total number of cubes as 8 and then use the formula that's it 8 fix see 3 faces painted that is always fixed 8 2 faces painted 12 times n minus 2 so keep on doing ns2 you will get 0 ns3 you will get 12 ns4 you get 24 see it is 12 times table actually and you can actually find if you have n equal to 10 that means 1000 small cubes out of them 8 of them will have 3 faces painted this is fixed 2 faces painted 12 times 10 minus 2 10 minus 2 is 8 12 8s are 96 so 96 cubes will have 2 faces painted see now you are getting the answer directly 12 times n minus 2 and how many of them will have 1 face painted just put n equal to 10 here 10 minus 2 8 8 square is 64 and 64 times 6 is 384 so out of 1000 cubes 384 will have one face painted i'm just using the formulas how many of them will have no face painted so n is 10 so 10 minus 2 8 8 cube is 512 will have no face painted and if they ask you how many will have either one two or three faces painted no faces painted is 512 right out of how many 1000 and so 1000 minus 512 gives you 488 cubes which are having at least one uh, face painted okay so i hope you understand this this is really important you know three faces is always fixed two faces is 12 times n minus 2 one face is 6 times n minus 2 whole square no faces n minus 2 whole cube what is n n is the number of cubes along the side of the big cube number of cubes along the row okay so friends this was the concept and i think you he can give you any number of cubes along the side you will tell me how many faces will be painted when you cut it into smaller cubes that completes the concept and amazing amazing uh, you know logic for everything and once you start understanding the logic you don't cram up things you don't spend time uh, you know working it out analyzing the full problem you have to just use the formula and get the answer so friends like this video do share it that is really important you know a very less number of people are you know actually taking the pain taking the time to share the videos if you like something please give it a share you know uh, the educators deserve their bit right and i hope you have subscribed the channel and uh, i sincerely thank you for watching the entire video and i hope uh, you like the video and uh, do practice this concept without practice there's nothing right so all the best for your practice and look for more such amazing videos on suresh agarwal's mathematics shortcuts thank you